Hi, this is Stephen reporting in the field for Kids on Campus, asking students at a local school about the Smarter Balance test they'll be taking in the next few months. Let's go find out what they know about it. Have you heard we will be taking that Smarter Balance test sometime this spring? They're going to test our balance. Do we have to walk a tightrope? What are you guys talking about? About me wanting to be a teacher when I grow up. Yeah! I was explaining about this year's Smarter Balance test. Oh, I see. Yes, this year's test is the real deal and will be scored. Scored? You mean I'll get a grade? Well, not a grade, but you will get a score that tells how well you did answering the questions and showing what you learned this year. Also, the test will have the same type of questions as last year, where some of the questions asked you to choose A, B, C, or D. But other questions asked you to write out your answers. Rearrange sentences to make a better story or click and drag something to an answer box. I really like taking the test on the computer. It was fun clicking and dragging things to show my answer. I had a question, let me draw a graph and fill it in. Yeah, but I had trouble typing my answers. Yes, we found out this might be hard for some students, so that's why we've been working on it this year and making it easier to type on the computer. Also, I'm going to explain to your parents that just as the smarter balance tests are different, the scores are going to be very different too. This means we can't compare the old scores with these new scores. Yeah, that would be like comparing a PlayStation to a paper airplane. <laughs> yes, so these new scores will be something that we'll all need to get used to and understand what they mean. This is a new test and an exciting time for all of us. You just have to have patience and be determined to have a successful transition to more challenging standards in our schools. Yep, that's right. This is exciting because our teachers are helping us by providing high quality teaching and helping us have a better education. Yay! Well, there you have it. That's the final deal. The students know more about the test, how schools and teachers are focused on our success, and where to get additional information should you want it. This is Steven reporting in the field for Kids on Campus. As always, till next time. Let your parents know if they would like more information go to the California Department of Education at www.cde.ca.gov. Then, type in California Assessment of Student Performance and Progress, just the acronym CASP, in the search box. Then click the link titled the California Assessment of Student Performance and Progress, which will take you to the webpage. There will be tabbed information for coordinators and administrators, teachers, students and parents, technology, and even contact information.